Mariupol looks how you think it might look after weeks and weeks of intense bombardment. But were chemical weapons also used? The claim has come from Ukraine's Azov Brigade, which has been defending the city. It says three people showed clear signs of chemical poisoning after a Russian drone dropped a toxic substance on the city. The allegation has yet to be verified. President Zelensky addressed it directly. We consider it very seriously, he said. I'd like to remind the world's leaders that Russia's possible use of chemical weapons has been already discussed. At that moment, it meant that the reaction to the Russian aggression had to be much more severe and faster. But verifying the chemical claims will be extraordinarily difficult. Attributing whether or not this happened uh, is a real priority right now so that, uh, if necessary, a response can be, can be made. But um, I'm, I'm confident in our intelligence capabilities and in the relationship we have with the Ukrainian government. Um, but it's important to say that at the moment, neither the Ukrainians nor any uh, major intelligence agency in the West uh, are able to confirm that chemical weapons have been used. And one expert told Five News that a huge steel plant close to the area in question will make any investigation even more difficult. There's so many possibilities that um, some of the materials used at this factory could have exploded or could have spread around. So uh, it, it will be extremely difficult to confirm what has actually happened there. Today, Putin has been amongst friends. With the Belarus president, Alexander Lukashenko, they toured a spaceport in Russia's Far East. He repeated his assertions about neo-Nazism in Ukraine. Indeed, the Azov Brigade making the claims about chemical weapons does contain some far-right extremists. All this as the number of refugees leaving Ukraine is now approaching five million a total even larger than the grimmest predictions nearly two months ago. Julian Drucker, Five News.